What is up? Welcome to camp. In this video, I'm going to share 10 easy camping dessert ideas with you that you have to try this summer. All these things are so delicious. So let's dive right into the list. First, of course, no campfire dessert list would be complete without s'mores. S'mores are one of the most classic camping desserts that I could possibly think of. And I'm gonna toast this marshmallow and make myself a little s'more right now. I would actually love to know in the comments, are you a toasted marshmallow person or a light it up, burn it really quick <laughs> marshmallow person? I am definitely a slow toasted marshmallow. Yes, nice and golden. <laughs> So this is a very classic s'more, honey graham crackers, chocolate marshmallow. But one of the reasons s'mores are so much fun is there are a million different ways that you can really change up this combo. You can use all different sorts of candy bars. I love to add jam. I've done toasted coconut. I've used smoked sea salt. So I kind of sometimes call these like fancy grown up s'mores. So check the description box. There will be some links to some ideas that you can try if you want to get creative with your s'mores. Number two is a no bake peach cobbler. Now this is a great idea if you want maybe a little bit of a lighter, healthier dessert. And like I said, it's no bake. So instead of baking a cobbler, which is kind of what you would normally do, we're gonna take fresh peaches and cook them with some honey in a cast iron pan over the camp stove. You could also do this over a fire as well in your cast iron pan. And then for that crispy crumble type of a topping, we're just gonna use homemade granola, or you can use store-bought granola as well, but I usually make a batch of granola at home. And so after I cook the peaches at camp, I sprinkle some nuts and some granola on there for a bit of a crunch, and then you can top it even with some whipped cream in the cooler. And that is a really simple, nice dessert while you're camping. Number three are chocolate raspberry hazelnut burritos. <laughs> this is another really easy camp stove option. So if you don't wanna have a campfire, this is a great one. And you're really gonna need just some tortillas, some hazelnut chocolate, and fresh raspberries. And believe it or not, this is just so, so good. You put just chopped hazelnut chocolate in your tortilla with some fresh raspberries. and then you cook it on both sides on a cast iron pan and the raspberries just kind of melt into the chocolate and it's just like Mwah. you possibly could change up the fruit here but raspberries really are best because they they get so soft very quickly once they're heated and if you've downloaded my free camp cooking starter kit you actually already have this recipe it is in there if you haven't downloaded it yet check the description below it is a free starter kit that has a camping meal planner and a camping gear checklist for your kitchen stuff so my intention with that is really to give you something to help you stay organized and really streamline the packing and planning process so that it's not stressful but this recipe is featured in that starter kit and it is one of my favorites the next camping dessert is campfire banana boats so for this one you're going to need a banana one that is actually not as ripe as this one <laughs> and then some mini marshmallows and some chocolate chips now there are so many ways that you can customize this when it comes to like adding other fruit adding nuts adding coconut nutella so definitely check the blog post for tons of fun combos that you can try but if you just want to keep it simple those three ingredients are a great place to start and then you're just gonna slice through your banana like about halfway, so not all the way through, just enough so that you can split it open and then stuff it with your marshmallows and your chocolate. Roll it in some foil and then cook it over the campfire coals for a few minutes. Cooking it over the campfire is just gonna melt all the insides and soften your banana a little bit. And then I like to eat this with graham crackers for a nice little crunch. So this is really good. I know, you know, a hot banana might not seem really good on the surface but, but this one is a lot of fun for everyone to get around and make their own and it is really delicious next we have my grilled strawberry shortcake this is such a fun one that kind of takes me back to my childhood and we're leveling up a little bit by grilling the strawberries so i just have some store-bought angel food cake you can make your own at home as well and then pack it along i'm gonna throw these on the grill right now maybe off to the side a little bit you don't have to do this step if you want this to just be a no cook dessert, but I just love the, the flavor that it adds. So I'm gonna grill my strawberries and then I also have some sliced almonds here and some whipped cream. 
and then assembly is really quick and easy. Put some whipped cream and then some slivered almonds. Next up, we have pie iron pies. This is the pie iron right here. It is cast iron and it is so much fun to cook with over the campfire. There's a ton of different things that you can make from breakfast to dinner to dessert. But the one that I wanna share with you in this video is just a simple pie iron pies. You can take store-bought pie dough and store-bought pie filling, which comes in so many different fruit flavors and make delicious pies over the campfire. These are really fun for everyone to kind of build their own and then just cook it over the fire. So I love the pie iron and pies are, are just always so impressive, but so easy. <laughs> Next, we're talking campfire cones. This one might take you back to childhood. You're gonna need some sugar cones that you would normally use for ice cream, but instead you're gonna stuff these cones with all sorts of things. So you can do chocolate chips, coconut, walnuts, peanuts, peanut butter cups, caramels, M&Ms, peanut M&Ms are one of my favorite, and marshmallows. And any combo of that, roll it all in foil and then cook it over the campfire to melt the insides. And then I like to unroll it and eat it with a spoon, just kind of like scoop out the inside while you also sort of eat through the cone. Next are Dutch oven cookies. This is just simple cookie dough. I made this at home and it's been in the cooler. And this is one of my favorite Dutch oven desserts because once you get to camp, you just put the cookie dough in your Dutch oven and you bake it. So really simple. And then it makes cookie bars is what I usually call them. Let them cool for a little bit and then I cut them into bars and everyone can, can have some. So this is such an easy one, really fun. If you wanna dive deep into Dutch oven cooking, check out my course in the description because it will take you from beginner to pro. There's tons of recipes in the course and it's really a lot of fun. It's a video-based course. So check that out if you're interested. Next is a Dutch oven dump cake. This is another classic. There are a few different ways that you can do it. So you're gonna just take a store-bought pie filling. You can really use any fruit pie filling that you like. And then a box of cake mix and some butter. I'm not gonna use all this cake mix because it, it can just be kind of too much so maybe two-thirds of the bag is what I'm using these are really easy they're kind of called dump cakes because you just basically dump everything in the Dutch oven and then bake it <laughs> they might look a little bit messy but they taste really good last but not least we have a very elevated camping dessert and it is grilled peaches with a honey bourbon mascarpone cream these are so simple in the summer peaches are in season so you can usually find them very easily at the grocery store at the farmer's market and wait till they're nice and ripe and then grill them make it even sweeter for the cream aspect you're just going to mix mix some mascarpone for the cream part you're just gonna mix some mascarpone cheese and some raw honey and a splash of bourbon you can leave the bourbon out if you want but it really does add a nice kick to this dessert this is liquid gold right here raw Montana honey mm. and then simply remove the peaches from the fire and top them with the cream and you're done. These are so good. Everyone that I've made these for has just loved it. And again, it's just so simple. So that's gonna be it for my 10 really easy, delicious camping dessert ideas that you have got to try this summer. I wanna know in the comments below before you click off, which one of these are you going to try first? <laughs> and make sure to check the description box below the video for additional resources, blog posts, and recipes that support the video. Subscribe to the channel for tons more camping meal ideas and I will see you in the next one.